I'm really looking forward to today's video. I'm in some trenches amongst these trenches down these steps. The trenches being made in 1915 is this. A World War I bunker. Sergeant Taylor's World War I bunker. Oh yeah, and tonight, whew, there's gonna be lots of flies and I'm gonna be sleeping in it. Whoa. Ah, oh, let's check this place out. Okay, I'm turning my microphone off because I'm getting some weird disturbances. But let's have a look in this bunker, right? It is really dark in here. I don't know why. Why did I think that's 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 not original? That's my can. I don't know why I thought um, it wasn't going to be dark in here. I mean. I'm in a bunker. <laughs> okay, what we got here? We got some, uh, got some cups. I don't know. Oh, a kettle. Might be needing that. Oh, look, there's a map. If you don't like creepy crawlies, then uh, <laughs> this place might not be for you. I don't like creepy crawlies. Let me take you back out to the entrance of these trenches that leads to this bunker. caught in my shoe. Uh. Alright, where was I? Ah, it is beautiful during the daytime. I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel at night time.
um, in these trenches. Seems like you could easily get lost in these. Lost down there. I've never, I've never been down there. I've never been down there. Got to remember, the bunker is the second right, which is down there. The bunker is down there. But what's what's down there? Kind of sketchy stepping on all these leaves because you don't know what's under the leaves. Uh, I might try and climb up this thing. I've done it. I may have slipped over, but I've done it. Now, uh, over there in the distance, that is the roof of the bunker. So this does lead back to the bunker. Uh, I don't know if I trust stepping on all these leaves. Mm. I'm not very good with certain insects or oh. little creepy crawlies like what made that hole? What made the hole? Right, anyway, the bunker. That them stairs leads to I guess you would call that the front door, the bunker front door. And down the steps. And then the front door. Uh, what bunk am I going to sleep in? There's one, two, three, four. Hmm. I'm thinking about the bed. This one might be too high. This one, eh, maybe, maybe. Maybe not that one. That's it's quite low. Or there is this one. Also quite high. Hmm. Maybe we'll see when it's the night time. There is also a little stove. I can put some wood in and set it on fire and have a little a little fire tonight if it gets cold.
Though I don't know if I actually trust myself lighting a fire in here. Do I trust myself? No. Coming out of the bunker, there really is different ways you can go. I've got all my equipment there. Uh, that way, or I suppose you could go this way. Once again, I have no idea. Where does this go? It's so dense. So scared of where I'm stepping. Oh, what's this? Oh, what's this area? Oh, wow. Oh, some sandbags. When I arrived here, I asked uh, the gentleman that looks after this place, you know, is it okay to do a video? And he was telling me a bit of history. My memory isn't great, but I know it was 1915. Apparently, these trenches, whilst they were being made, over there, if you look at the other camera, in the field were some Germans and they were live firing at them whilst they were building these trenches. So I'm sure there's loads of history of this place online. Oh, wow, imagine Germans in, in that field. You happen to build a trench. I'm going to be saying the word trench quite a lot in this video, ain't I? I wouldn't have made a good soldier in World War One. Constantly, like, oh, what's that noise? What's that rustling noise? What's under the leaves? Oh, how do I get back? I don't think I'll be walking around there at night time. That way will get me back to the bunker. Uh, 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 oh, that was slippery. Okay. Ah, home. Where is it? Maybe I should think about the food situation soon. I do need to do some food. Uh, now there is a memorial. So uh, I'll take you to see the memorial.
Okay, so I've brought some lights with me, camping lights. Uh, it's not dark outside yet, but I just wanted to see how I could light this place up. And uh, it, it lights it up. Okay, so I don't know, I might get the stove going soon. Light the stove. Or the burner, or I, I, you know, I don't, what do you call it? I'm, I'm not experienced with this kind of stuff. The wood burner. Just bucket there, I wonder what that's for. Maybe that's my toilet. I just made myself a nice cup of hot drink. Oh. Speaking of hot drink... I'm now signed up with buymeacoffee.com. Using the link on the screen and the link in my description, you can now help support my YouTube channel with a small donation. And you don't even have to create oh, with a small donation, and you don't even have to create an account. Head over to www.buymeacoffee.com. Benny Energy. For other ways you can help support my channel, please see my description below and thank you. Okay, I've been here, what, a few hours now? A little bit concerned because it's starting, it's, it's going to start getting dark soon. I need to sort some food out. Over here I do have a camping stove. And I also found something else. And I'm guessing this is... Yeah. Yeah. That... is a toilet. Or well, it was a toilet. Or it is a toilet. Is that where I go to the toilet? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I just walked for a big web. Uh, I, can, I can feel it on me. Uh, I just walked for a big spider's web. Oh my. Okay, so it's gone uh, 7 p.m., so 7 in the evening. It's time to do some food. I've explored this place. There's loads of trenches to walk around. The bunker is getting darker and darker <laughs> by the minute, it seems. And I'm losing light. You can't really see it, but the tree cover doesn't help. So it's dark anyway. So yeah, I'm just gonna cook some food. I'm going to be doing Frankfurt sausages. Just put them in some rolls with some sauce. So pretty simple, pretty simple dinner tonight. Oh, first time using this stove, so hopefully it goes all right. Uh, how do you do it? Uh, heat for four minutes. What's the clever way of opening this? What is the way a normal person would open this? What? Oh. Done it now. That wasn't too bad. Oh, I should probably heat the pan up, shouldn't I? Oh no. Right, heat the pan up. First time using this, I set my hair on fire. Oh. I've actually got hairspray on, so probably shouldn't do that. I'm hoping that the smell of sausages don't bring out the wild life. Okay, come on. 
Oh, there's a fly on it. Oh, God. Right, do I slice it that way or that way? Oh, shit. Right. This camp cooking is quite easy. Oh, God. Oh, God. God. I say that and then... Oh, bloody disaster. I mean, I understand it looks messy, but it tastes... Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tastes a bit dry. Should probably put some butter rather than just put sauce. Oh well. Mm. There's a cat. So, after my sausage. Hello? Would you like a sausage? Hello? Come here. Hello? Like a World War One cat. Oh, it's gone. I knew I should have saved it a sausage. Hey. Do cats eat bread? I mean, I kind of now live with three cats. Um. Do Do you want some bread? Oh. No, I do not. Okay. Okay then. Right, I've had my hot dogs. I'm going to start getting ready for bed whilst there's still a little bit of light. It looks a lot lighter on the camera, but it's gone 8 pm now. So, I think I've pretty much decided I'm going to be on this bunk. Let me just do a quick inspection. Oh god. Oh gosh. Oh. Don't tell me I've left my pillows in the car. Oh. I think I've left my pillows in the car. Oh god, and this cat keeps. This cat just frightened the life out of me. Every so often it'll just run past. God, I'm like shaking still. <laughs> it really scared me. Oh, I'm gonna have to go back to the car. I've left my bloody pillows. Oh no. Right. It's starting to get a bit nippy. So, I'm going to hopefully light a fire, the good old World War I way, with a lighter. Alright. Hopefully if I light a couple of them first. Uh, how do you light a fire? Surely it's wood. Surely that'll just set on fire, right? Oh, 
cast quite a flame. Uh, I'll put a fire lighter in there. Yep, that is quite a big flame. Um, uh, it's quite smoky actually in here. So, when do I add this? This thing, like a bit of wood. Do I do I add that now? I just. Oh my god. God, set the smoke alarm off. Jesus. I got a bit smoky there for a minute. Whew. I somewhat successfully put on the burner stove heater wood thing. One minute later, the fire's literally nearly gone out. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I've got candles lit up here. How do you keep a fire lit? Oh, God. Okay, maybe I'll try getting in the bed. right here but I don't want to sleep the other end so yeah let's see see how this goes it's uh it's almost it's almost midnight. There's a jet flying over at the moment, but I could hear noises outside. It's probably nothing, but still. The fire went out, so I'm just burning some candles. outside. It's probably just that cat. Right? Yeah? It's probably, yeah, yeah, it's probably, it's probably just the cat. Nothing to worry about. Uh, it's 6.30 in the morning. Oh, I didn't, I didn't sleep. I may have got an hour. Anyway, I left a water bottle outside. I can hear something scratching at it. Just want to go and see what it is. What is scratching? Turn the light on. What the hell is making all this scratching noise? I'm a 
There's nothing out there. Look at that big web. That wasn't there last night. Good morning from the bunker. Oh, I survived the night in the bunker. At least it's not raining. Oh. I did not have a good night's sleep. Uh, but that's nothing, that is nothing to do with the bunker itself. It's just me. Maybe I just, I don't sleep in places I'm not familiar with and beds I'm not familiar with. So, I didn't sleep. I wish I got the fire going because it was really cold. This morning when I woke up, it was so cold. Um, so, yeah, I put on my military, US military jacket <laughs> to try and warm up. Yeah, I suppose I better take some bits to my car because you can't access this site. You can't access this to the car. You have to park up that way. There's a trail. You have to walk back through the trenches which are behind me. And then uh, my car's parked up there. I'm gonna do that. So if you're enjoying this video or have enjoyed it, you've liked looking at my channel and you're into World War One, World War Two, military type stuff and you're watching this before June the 18th, 2022, then there is a great 1940s event held in Bottisham. It's called Bottisham at War. It's a great event with reenactments. Uh, there's military vehicles, uh, there's shooting guns. I believe there's going to be an unveiling of a Mustang. It's going to be a really good weekend, a full Saturday, Sunday weekend of 1940s. Links about that event are in the description down below. So if you're interested, please go on the website, buy some tickets. I went last year, I done a vlog on it, which is on the channel. I should be going again this year, so subscribe to the channel. 
if you'd like to see that and just go and check out the website well that's me done for yesterday evening and this morning now i can say i slept in a bunker i mean i was amongst trenches built in 1915 and yeah it's been a really interesting experience so there's just one thing left to do now I was given the key to this place and the door doesn't close. There we go. I was given the key to this place and now I shall... Oh. Oh God. There we go. I shall lock it up. Okay, I think I need two hands for this. Thanks for watching. Can't see it. Just setting off, my thing is turned to off. But it's but it's on. You can hear it's on. But it's turned off, so what what's happened there? How do I stop that? Come in Tesco at the moment. Um I'm getting got ice, a washing up bowl, and some more bits in a bag. So, yeah, I'm just getting some more bits at the moment.